I'm Carlos Bo, and I'm, I'm one of the three computational groups working here at the ACAQ. Computational chemistry is a part of chemistry that combines maths, physics, and computer science to study chemistry in computers. Basically, this means that uh, we build models, theoretical models, in silico that we expect that will reproduce the structure and properties of molecules and materials. Many of our projects uh, are regarding catalysis. And in this uh, field, we are interested in discovering how a catalyst works, discovering new chemical reactions, so to identify the key points in the molecules and in the mechanisms that can be tuned to obtain better selectivity, better uh, reactivity, to reduce waste, to optimize the reactions. I'm studying uh, computationally uh, the carbon dioxide reactivity to produce polycarbonates and cyclic carbonates from uh, the reaction of carbon dioxide with cyclic carbonates. This reaction is catalyzed by an aluminum aminotrisphenolate complex, this one, designed by Professor Clay Gulup uh, here in the ICAQ, in which we collaborate uh, frequently. Uh, so this, we study computational this reaction and they study the reaction uh, experimentally. This is the, the catalyst that we use and this is a 3D representation of, of the complex, of the aluminum complex. One of the main topics our group deals with is supramolecular chemistry, which is quite challenging because we're dealing with fairly large systems. I'm going to show you um, two recent projects we've been working on, which have given us results recently. And for example, we've been studying this iridium-3 complex um, within this supramolecular capsule. And in particular, we've been collaborating with experimentalists um, to investigate the peculiar motion that this has within the capsule. So it has a hindered motion, as you can see. And we've been correlating this motion with the, with the NMR signals that they have been recording experimentally. And another project which I'm particularly fond of is the study of the aggregation of this molecule here, which is a lacunary kegin. Uh, in a large-scale solution and we have the tools to deal with um, systems of such size and as you can see in the video that I'm showing you here we eventually observe aggregation of these species although they set off far apart. As you can see we only use computers actually lots of computers to apply the theories that uh, we use either quantum mechanics or even classical mechanics we need to do a lot of computations and computers work for us almost all the year, all the days. I'm Moses Alvarez and I'm the main programmer of IOCMBD software. Uh, that is a software solution that we have generated in, we have code in our group that is aimed to manage uh, computational chemistry, big data. It is composed of a series of, uh, a series of web services that work autonomously that are used to extract the most information from such chemical big data. Our future plans uh, will go towards uh, coding new computational codes and also to uh, open our platform to third-party services to add more, add, give more added value to our platform and also we want to publicize it. We have released our 1.1 version of our software and it's accessible in our web page. So computational chemistry has emerged as a technology. Actually, we could think as the 21st century problem-solving technology. And given the huge advances in computers and in technology, so we expect that in the coming years, we will be able to solve even more complex problems.